Brick Addicts, Lego lovers, friends from all over the world, today we got a special. We are gonna sticker the entire Lego store. This should be fun. So let's start with the front. And aside from the Lego store sign, we're gonna put some stuff on the windows too. So normally what I do is I pick a couple corners and I make sure that the top is level with whatever my reference is. And I can't say I'm 100% good at this. There are people here who are better than me. And you always wanna leave a section off just in case it doesn't match up. I think that looks okay. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, let's try this. So you want to have it centered, and I think I got it. By golly, I think I got it. There we go. Next, let's hit the windows. Got some window decals. And... You know, the only bad thing about the window decals is they kind of cover this stuff up. But we wanted to be as close to the real thing as possible. And since the Lego store has some window decals, we figured we would too. So in this case, I'm kind of using the side here as a reference. And we can still see the car. Cool. All right, now we got a bigger one. The Incredibles. Let's see, let's, let's put this just a little lower. How about that? These stickers are pretty forgiving too. So if you kind of get it wrong, you can fix them pretty easy, unless they're all the way on. If they're all the way on, then not good. Okay. So almost got it. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. Let's check, now you'll see I'm leaving a corner off just in case I gotta remove it. And that looks okay, so get with that. I'm not sure if anything else goes on the front. Alicia's not in here yet to help me, so let's do this. Let's go with this now. And I can tell you right now that this is not built right. So we will come back to that. <laughs> Let's do the Star Wars. All right. Which on your sticker sheet is these right here. So we just pop these boxes off. And one by one. There you go. Star Wars. Corner to corner. Now a little, little trade secret. When we started to design all this, we had actually thought about wrapping the entire thing in a sticker. So it would have the sides and everything on it. But when we put everything on the design software, it, uh, it would have added about two pages to the sticker sheets. So because of that, we did not do that. All right, Alicia is fixing the section that was built wrong. So when she gets back, we're gonna be ready for it. All right, three out of six. We're halfway there. Oh, I'm sorry, four out of six. <laughs> We are more than halfway there with the Star Wars. These are some cool sets too. In fact, at one point or another, we've had or have all of these sets in here, either for sale or display. All right, one Star Wars to go. And there you go. 
six boxes of Star Wars. Those go on this. So let me share this a little bit because in the Lego store instructional video, I accidentally left off me actually putting these on there. But this is relatively simple. The concept, it's got the uh, two by two with the stud. One stud's on the top, all the way down. And then of course the uh, one by four is on the sides. And these just go on here. In fact, you can point them any direction you want. We filmed this set a few times and on a couple of occasions, we have placed these in a position to match the boxes on the back wall. Okay, so then this goes right back on here and goes right in here. In fact, let's move this just a little. Okay, cool. Because people have to have room to get to that, right? All right. Let's see here. Let's do the friend sets. A little tricky to get to. All right, friend sets. Four friend sets right here. We have done some sets, but these are purple. These, uh, these pieces here. But now they're pink. Oh, yeah. Check that out. As we say, stickers bring the magic. Legos are cool regardless, but stickers bring the magic. These are pretty easy. These little pieces. Okay, two more. So now we're halfway through the friend sets. I feel like Bob Ross at the moment. Talking all soft. This is not an intentional ASMR video, but hey, if it works for you, awesome. All right, friends sets. There you have it, Little friend sets. These, of course, can go however you want. Um, a little awkward to get in there. In fact, there's no rhyme or reason. Just do the best you can. And you know what? I'm gonna just snap these on right like that. Turn them a little bit. And <laughs> that's not really how they go, but for now, we'll go with that. Okay. So let's do the two sets that sit on the counter, which are these right here. We got Minecraft and the superheroes. So Minecraft is gonna get the black. Very cool set. That goes right there. And of course it's sitting on the um, the cashier's desk because someone put them up there to buy them. And slightly different design on this piece. And there we go. So, right there. Perfect. In fact, you know what? I like that slant. I think that slant's kind of cool. Okay. Let's head for the pick a brick wall. Now, if you've got this set and you're stickering it, it's a million times easier just to pull it off the wall and do it like this. So let's zoom in, shall we? Okay, now the good thing about this is as long as you get the sticker centered correctly and all that, you can turn the brick appropriately. For example, I'm slightly crooked on it, but I can just turn it like that. Or however. All right, my favorite color, blue. We'll put that one on this one. There's really... And my second favorite color is red. Yes, blue and red. Okay, right there. 
Maybe I like blue and red because when I was a teenager, I went through a phase of wanting to be an astronaut. And then I went through a phase of wanting to be a police officer. In fact, I've got a lot of friends who are police officers. So maybe that's why my favorite colors are red and blue. I do love the light bars on top of the cars. Love lights. Plus, when I was a professional musician for over 20 years, we had lights on stage. I was big into the lights. So, anyway, a lot of our lights were red and blue. So, those ended up being my absolute favorite colors. Welcome to ASMR with Lego Dave. <laughs> Not really. Not really the purpose of this, but, you know, it's storming outside here in Dayton. Had kind of a rough weekend, in case you didn't know. I'm not going to go in detail, but let's just say Dayton is recovering right now. And our thoughts go out to everyone in Dayton, El Paso, California, and wherever anything else crazy happened in the last week. But we're not going to talk about it because we are here to indulge yourself in Lego fun and forget about the real world. Which is always our intentions on the video. All right, we're almost there. Got a few to go. This is probably one of the most tedious sections. And then as I said, if I've got my uh, directions off on any of them, all we gotta do is reposition them just by turning. Easy enough, all right? Yeah, that one. That one's upside down. So we'll fix it. No worries. Okay, so we can say on this that the Lego employee put the white pieces right next to each other. I was trying to be more creative and spread the colors out, but we won't do that. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Green by green. No biggie. All right, so how many of you actually have that Lego set? Our custom Lego set designed in 2018. So it's already a year old. Time flies. My guess will be I'll also be editing this down for time a little bit. All right, so we got three to go. And I'm gonna make an educated guess on where these go. <clears throat> so we've got a yellow. And then we've got these now. Model, okay, so I know there's some of those going on. And you know what? If not, we'll just pop them pieces off and move them where they do go. Easy enough. That's the good thing about these parts. Parts is parts, yellow on yellow. I did get that wrong, so I'm gonna redo it. There we go. Alright. Oh, and don't forget this. Pick a brick. Now it is officially pick a brick. Officially. Right there. I'm missing a couple stickers that I still need to put on, but that's okay. okay let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a guess. Alright, I had to cheat. And of course, since these pieces do not have a, um, a top to use a Lego piece remover, I had to use a butter knife. So, sorry, Core. <laughs> Core's a good friend of ours. All right, that's a little crooked, but that's okay. We will fix that. 
before we ship that. Okay. I think it's going to take a little fixing from Alicia, but so basically what this pre uh, presents is a pick and brick wall. You get all your different bones of Lego, stuff like that, and here's your cups. These are supposed to be cups. And uh, we thought about having clear cups that stuck out, kind of like what's on a restaurant set, but we decided not to and just had these. So these are kind of like lids, really. And there you go. So let's put this back up on the wall. We could just lay it on the floor, right? So the kids and babies could get to it. So there's the pick a brick wall, which is a very important part of this Lego set in any Lego store. Okay, let's do a sticker for the cash register. There we go. Of course, some big, big, big on cash registers. Hopefully you can see it. And that's crooked, okay. Trying to do it without taking the piece out. You can do it, Dave. Kind of an awkward angle. And there we go. And I think that, I think maybe the credit card machine might have a sticker. I don't know. Okay, so then we've got all kinds of wall decor here. Got an astronaut, farmer, things like that. Really no rhyme or reason on where these go. We've actually done some big ones like this and um, sold them before. Giant size. You know what? Let's put this guy right there. I think that looks cool. Some more. Uh, as we say, editorial privilege there. And this guy, where do you want to put him at? Let's put him, let's see. Hmm, let's put him right here. Sorry you couldn't see that there for a minute. Right there. there we go. Some cool wall decor. We've got some more here. These cool little dudes. Hiding behind a Lego block right there. Okay, and I recognize the inside store sticker goes right here. Perfect. All right. I'm getting lucky with the uh, stickers going on well today. Stop bringing the camera, Dave. Now, if you noticed in, um, in the Lego video where we build this set, um, you'll notice there's a lot of magic happening, like pieces flying into our hands, things like that. And just in case you don't know how that's done, what we do is we actually film taking a Lego set apart piece by piece and then we reverse the video. Hence the fact that if we drop a piece, it actually flies up into our hand in the final edit. Okay, so here are creator sets. We'll say the, uh, the smaller types of creator sets. The yellow kind, which we've got three boxes of those. These stickers really do bring the magic. They make this place magical. You know, because just imagine if it was just these pieces, it wouldn't be the same. You know, so once you put nice, crisp, clear stickers on it, it just really brings it home. In fact, especially that mini. Represents mini Lego sets. And uh, anyway, so reason that we started uh, filming taking the sets apart for instructional videos was because when we were filming the assembly actually building them 
It was taking a long time. And we tried speeding them up, but uh, the speeding up process in some cases just didn't look very good. So I got an idea. I said, well, let's just film taking it apart and then reversing the video and having it go at normal speed. So some of our older videos are like that. Some of the newer instructional videos we've got are done in stop motion. But of course the one with this particular Lego set that was uploaded on Sunday a couple days ago. That one is filmed in reverse. Okay, so this is the city set. Got a huge roll of city. We got four to go. Let's do this. Let's temporarily put them right there. These are some of my coolest, of my uh, favorite sets, rather. And let me tell you, we haven't got to the good stuff yet. I love this set. The police helicopter, awesome. This here is one of the first sets that I bought in my, let's say, adult fan of Lego years. And we've had many, many of these red trains. Probably several hundred have come through these doors. And I think one, literally one, of this particular set. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of Lego sets right there and they all go right there okay no rhyme or reason for it just kind of just sit up there and pull these down these are jurassic park all right so we have stickered up all of the gray blocks and jurassic park is ready to be filled. We also put some of the uh, creator sets and some of the city sets on right there. All right, now we're gonna do these black boxes. Which is the Technic sets. Now we're talking. sticker up all these technique sets and then we're going to put them all back on the wall. This will be Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, this will be City, and this will be Creator and Technic. Now we've got all those stickers on the back. I actually had to take the whole wall apart to be able to reach these rows and I also moved the direction these were facing. So. Technically, in a real Lego store, they would probably be facing the door, but in this case, it's okay. So now, let's just kind of go through and place some stickers throughout. While we wait on Alicia to bring us this section that goes right here. So these are just little pieces two by fours, two by four stickers. And really they can go just about any way you want them. We've got a ton of them, a little astronaut. So let's put the astronaut somewhere. Astronaut, of course, is a very popular Lego man from the 80s. And we will put him right there. Get many more. Got another astronaut. So let's see. You know, we could put this stuff on the outside, on the inside. Let's put him right here. The farmer and the pig. And so we're waiting on the piece for these. Ooh, here we go. There's one with a guy holding a Nintendo controller. We'll put them right there. Just got a couple in the background. Wall decor makes such a big difference. Such a big difference. And like I said, these can go pretty much anywhere. I try to 
kind of scatter them around a little bit. Like, uh, for example, the guy is running across the wall. Put a couple on that wall. And we could even put the astronaut floating if we want. Let's put him there floating. I like that. You like that? Got more of the these here, which actually we could just put them above the pick a brick wall. How about that? I cannot say I've ever, ever had so much fun putting on Lego stickers. And we have not even got to the Walmart yet. <laughs> that one's really going to be a ton of fun. Let's see. Let's not overdo it with these. We certainly got enough of them. Wall decor helps. Not only in a Lego set, but really anywhere. You know? Wall decor helps. Let's put... Lego sticker here. We're just having fun now. There we go. Okay. We can even throw the, uh, the logo really up anywhere. Just got to make sure it's straight. Actually, it can be a little crooked because it's supposed to represent the Lego stuff. When she brings me this other section, we'll be good to go on that. Let's put these guys up here. Got a lot of uh, yellow one by fours going on. That guy's running across the wall. Police officer there. Gonna fix a couple things. But stickers are definitely making this set look a lot fuller which is important. We'll put that right there. And at last, delivery of the shelf that's gonna go there. So now we are really talking with some of my favorite sets. The detective's office. Creator set, of course. Loving it. And let's do this. Let's pair it. See, we've got a few to choose from for a couple. So let's put that one right there. And over here, let's get the Parisian on the bottom. And the grand one. The grandest of all, the Grand Emporium for the top, to top that out. You know, it's too bad we can't still walk into a Lego store and get those sets right there. Okay, so now for this side, the classic sets. So there's green, so this one is going to go on green. Fine blue. Classic blue goes on blue. One of the, ooh, hey, there's a dollhouse. Cool. You know what, let's put, if I can get it here, red on red. How appropriate. There's a yellow. Right there. So we got us. So we're gonna do a blue on orange. We can consider that a mix and match. These don't necessarily have to be in any kind of order. As you know. 
that one there, and one here. The dollhouse. And this wraps up our end cap, which goes right in there. And I'm going to move this right there. So there we go. Basically, the concept of these is on the back, you've got the three rows, which are built into the wall. So that's probably one of the confusing parts because the way those are laid out, we've got to use the thinner pieces because right here is actually the shelf going through. So each of those are separated by a one by one. And then on this side, you've got the uh, smaller shelves, which are those right there, just pieces extending out. All right, so I added these to the front and I'm working on some Lego signs for these doors here. Let's put these on right now. Using this to kind of match it up. Yeah, the little door thing. And of course it goes on both sides. That way you won't just see white on one side. Just like that. And there's that. So we got some more spark there on the outside. And you know what? We could even add a couple of these to the desk right here. Just to kind of give it a little bit more spark. So kind of like I've said about the uh, wall decor, stuff like that. It kind of helps. It, it makes stuff that's uh, empty. It gives it that full lock. We'll even stick a Lego sign right here. Gotta make sure it's straight. Okay, so the Lego desk. There we go. The Lego store is now stickered. You know what? We can even throw a Lego sign right here. What the heck? Gotta get her straight. That's not straight. That's not straight. Sometimes it takes a lot. Especially dealing with them boxes right there. So I'm trying to center it perfectly and get it straight. All right, there we go. That looks like an official Lego wall now. Here's a look. All right, everybody. If you like the video, please smash smash that subscribe button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you're into vlogs please click right there if you're into videos of cool sets like this one and that one please click right there we will see you all in the next video